Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I literally just did this video and it stopped on me. So <laughs> I'm finally doing this video. Uh, God has been putting it on my heart for the longest to share my before and after um, and my weight loss journey. And so it was a little hard for me to do because it's out of my comfort zone. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and be obedient. And I just hope that maybe it helps or blesses someone. So I've been trying to do a video with details, but they have been way too long. Uh, so he also put it on my heart to create a page, um, the IG page where I'm going to talk about things in detail, uh, what I did to lose the weight, um, along with things he taught me. Uh, Cause to me, really my weight loss journey and transformation doesn't compare to the one he did inwardly. Uh, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So just little things that he put on my heart like that to share that would be way too long <laughs> to do on this video. So um, basically I lost 200 pounds with his help. Uh, I've gained 30 of it back, unfortunately, and I'm still not at my goal weight. So first I had to lose this 30 and then continue back uh, where I left off. Um, but I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It's been a struggle. So on my page, I'm gonna post, like I said, what I did so far and then continue from there. I am not a trainer by a long shot. <laughs> I'm just sharing um, how far I've come and how I've come that far. Cause this, my weight is something I struggle with me, struggle with continually, you know? Uh, but I was able to lose it with God's help when I wasn't even trying and long story short It was basically basically nutrition. I was fasting and praying a lot because um, I needed God I needed guidance and all that good stuff and uh, I was going through a lot so I was fasting and praying constantly and Eating nothing but fruit veggies and meats and I gave up my bread Because <laughs> bread didn't like me no way and I gave up my sweets and like the first hundred alone I lost off of nutrition just changing my eating habits. Um, oh, by the way, so I got to like 4, 425, 427 was my highest weight, but I was pregnant with my daughter at the time. But um, that wasn't baby fat. So, but <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm going to share my journey and I hope it blesses somebody. Um, and I'm gonna continue my journey on there as well. I'm a little sleepy, y'all, but I put this off for so long. So I said, let me go ahead and post it so I can um, get some sleep. I hope it blesses someone. I hope it encourages someone. If you're in the 400s, the 300s, uh, if you let yourself go, like it don't even have to be in weight. If you feel too far gone, period, in life, whatever, you're not too far gone that God can't redeem your life. He, uh, whether it be physically, spiritually, emotionally, and I feel like that's the biggest thing he wants me to share because I was 28 years old and weighed 425 pounds, 25, 27. <laughs> but um, I was 28 years old when I weighed that much and I was struggling with my body. And when I tried by myself, I couldn't lose it. And I just felt like I was stuck like that, you know, but, but God basically. So um, that's basically what he put on my heart to share. Um, so my page is gonna be about my journey. If you feel like you're on your own journey, you're struggling with something, be it your weight, be it spiritually, whatever it is, uh, you can join me. It's gonna have more than just weight loss stuff. Uh, things he's taught me along the way. Um, things he's showed me that has helped me get this far. and. It's going to help me finish strong. So, um, yeah, I hope this blesses somebody. You can do it. You can do it. I don't have a weight loss superpower. And, and that's what I used to think when I would see people's before and afters that they had a weight loss superpower and I didn't have it, but I don't have, a, you know. <laughs> so, um, you can do it. Uh, but y'all join me. I'm sleepy and I'm going to start babbling. Y'all hope y'all have a blessed day.